Hey everybody, welcome to my garage. Today I'm going to show you how I've made these really solid shelves for carrying tools, heavy weights, uh, a racking system underneath or possibly a shelving system underneath. The tools required for your job today will be your power saw, perhaps a couple of different type power saws, uh, drill, bugle batten screws, hammer, square, earmuffs of course, and a good quality level to get everything straight. Let's get into the action. It's going to be 450 wide or 18 inches. It's going to be narrow because I've got it's a double garage and I've got to fit two cars in there. So I don't want to come out too far with the shelf. It'll be in the way of the car. Opening and closing your doors, stuff like that. So from roughly this doorway right to that corner, uh, just one top shelf and then a bit of a framework underneath. Start off with, we've got to get our levels right, check your concrete slab is right, because then I can just measure off the floor, uh, which I've already done. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have a 20 mil thick or three quarters of an inch thick top. I'm coming up to 900 high bench, standard height for a bench, typical of a kitchen bench, roughly three foot, 900 mils high, straight across, I've, I've already marked points which are perfectly level. The corner, the middle, and at the beginning point, Use a chalk line to establish a nice straight line and check it with those points. Pull the chalk line nice and tight, just check it's on that measurement in the middle and flick it. Instantly have a nice straight and level line to work to. The first thing that I've got to do as far as the actual construction goes is put on the cleat on here that will support the shelf. It's going to be cut accurately because I'm go it's going to go into the back of the architrave but in between the architrave and the shelf will be a support the same width as the shelf. I'm wanting to get really good fixing of this cleat so I know my stud positions. This is a stud wall uh, and so from the bottom I just level up from where the studs are and mark off their positions. When you mark the wall make sure you come above the line so that when the timber goes in place on there you can actually see where your mark is. If you're not sure of where the positions are, grab your hammer, you can usually tell by the sound. I'll do that for every stud. And when the fixing time comes, I'm going to use a bugle batten screw. I'm not going to just rely on nails because there's going to be a heavy load on these shelves. So, yeah, a 100mm 4 inch bugle batten screw. My support timber is just standard framing timber, house framing timber, 90 by 35, uh, 4 by 1 and a half. What I do is I've got, a, because I'm working on my own, I've got to do a couple of little sneaky things to help me along the way. Uh, so I've, I've cut these two lengths of timber to support each end. Now what I want to do is I'm not actually going to fix it in place like that, I'm going to mark it where the screws are going to go. One screw per hole. I will pre drill the holes and actually start the screws and then bring it back with all the screws partly started and then screw them all home. The time has come to fit it to the wall. There we go. I'll start in the middle. So just raise it up to the line. That is not going anywhere. I'm also going to be putting on a mid-level shelf. So I just duplicate all those positions on another piece of timber and work out my halfway point and then fix it. Next up is the cutting of all the rest of the framing timber. And in this case, we've cut uprights for the front, which will go all the way along. There'll be two more of these cleats, exactly the same length. This time though, they will sit out in the front, like that, one up top, one down below. And in between will be these little joists sitting like that. One on the top cleat, one on the bottom cleat. Now I'm going to make this whole section all in one piece, down here on the concrete floor. Lay it down, fix it all together, and then lift it up 
and hopefully it will all fit exactly as I've planned it to. Use exactly the same method to mark everything all off again. Now I've got the timber laid out ready when it's all fixed to lift up in place. Timber is all pre-cut, pre-measured so it, no, where I know exactly where it's going to fit and I've just got to make sure I keep everything square as I fix it. Once the uprights are all done, next thing to attach is all my pre-cut joists. So we'll just go like that, screw down, screw down. Still using bugle batten screws the whole time. Now all these centre ones are all fixed. Uh, you'll notice that I haven't done the two end ones here, neither have I done the two up the other end. They will be in a slightly different position and a slightly different length, so I'll cut them when it's standing up in place. We'll stand this up and fix all these ones to their appropriate position on the, on the wall. Now I've got to fix this to that back wall. Once again, bugle screws. Put lots of weight against this while it's being done. Get that in the correct position. Remember, I always like to pre-draw my holes when I'm using these sorts of screws. Saves any problems with splitting the timber. A lovely solid finish. Now I've got to continue that all the way down on this level and also on the bottom level. On the end here the in-between joist will be just cut in between and fit in like that. That should give me the 450. There you go. This is a completed frame. Now that's solid, that's what you want in a garage. Uh, you can th I can chuck all sorts of things on here when it's finished and to finish it off now I'm going to cut this top shelf and remember I'm putting a piece up that end as well. Uh, I'm choosing not to put a shelf down in this middle bit, uh, a solid shelf that is, because I'm going to be racking it out with timber but you could just as easily what happens on the top you could also do on that shelf there. I've also just got the standard concrete floor with nothing, no obstacles, no framing in the way so I can slide things in underneath also. For the shelf I'm using standard house flooring, the standard sheet flooring that you would see on a timber framed house. And once again we use the chalk line to get a nice straight line all ready to cut. finished cut shelf I've got to hang it over this end because I will have this panel as I said before which will go on there that will be the length of that I'm also going to run a 2x1 42 by 19 strip of pine around those two edges and down the front just to protect all the edges from any damage people walking past on this door take that back off again because I'm going to glue it down and then fix it down a good quality woodworking glue or liquid nails. Get that in the right spot. Now I fix it down. Now for the finishing off bits that I talked about earlier. It's just this Pine, 42 by 19. Once again, I put glue all along there, and you're going to get to see me use a hammer and nail. Put 
little bit of that glue. Look at that. Well, there you go everybody, a really nice solid shelf, all sealed around the back edge too by the way. So if any moisture gets into it, it's not going to affect any of the timber or this, this uh, treated chipboard. Uh, finished off edges, all done. I've chosen for the open look at the front. You could put doors on this, you could do all sorts of things if you wanted to as well. So there you go guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more how-to in carpentry videos and all sorts of other stuff as well. Alright, see you later guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.